Oh, hello, and welcome to my home. I don't know if you recall a few weeks ago when I defeated a certain pancake in a 5K. Ian, roll that footage. Just under 15, dirty! Winding his way down the hill. 17, dirty! Yeah. Luke Vaughn yeah. and Jonathan Ryan. Consequently from that race, I won not seven pounds, not 14 pounds, not 21 pounds, but oh, a year's supply of pancake mix. What will I do with it? You'll find out later. You're watching! Space Nation and welcome to my kitchen, my second home. I really love this place. When you have 21 pounds of pancake mix, you get pretty freaking good at making pancakes. That's why today we're introducing to you our brand new segment. Cooking with Matt! Cook, 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 cooking with Matt! Cooking with Matt! Yeah! Yeah, feels pretty good, doesn't it? So I'm gonna I'm gonna start whipping up some batter here. Got the finest. Finest and pancake mix crusties. I don't usually measure. I'm not a fan of measuring. This, as you know, a great carbo loading option for you runners out there. You want to put in about an amount of water. Any amount. Any amount of mix. I this is pretty um, advanced for me. I usually cook cereal. Um, this is way too watery. While I'm mixing this, hey, let's do this segment! That's right. We had the Northwest Championships for Junior Colleges, that's NWAX. We had California Sectionals, that's right, in track and field, that's great. NAIA photos, Oregon State meet, or OTC HP races, and the Florida All-Star meet. How could you resist, huh? Okay, it's enough of that. You know what's next. Just, I need more of this. Awkward video of the week. Two people running very well in three. So the batter appears to be ready. Ian, your call. What do you want? I can make a ball, a frisbee, a planet, pre subway Jared Vogel. What do you want? Anything. Um. How about, let's, can you do uh, Prefontaine juggling squirrels on a beluga whale in the ocean? That might take a little, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. All right, so let's uh, mix up the batter here. That's very important. Okay. First things first, everybody knew Prefontaine for his famous singlet. Let's see here. I get the singlet going a little. You know what? This is going to take a while. Let's, uh. You know, just roll, roll the... Runner run, space run, 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 down. run down. Alrighty, Patty, it's the high school rundown. We were at the Oregon State meet this week, and it was nothing short of amazing. Elijah Greer won the 800 and took back his U.S. number 1, 1500. From fellow Oregon standout Nathan Mathabani dropping a 26-second last lap, running 3 minutes, 50 seconds. It was pretty ridiculous. Check this out. <laughs> On the girls' side, Taylor Wallace won her fourth straight state 1500 and 3000 meter titles, running 433 and 1009 respectively. That was in four. In six, a sophomore Anna Marie Mogg also ran blazing fast as she ran 433 in the 15 and 959 in the 3K. Oh, let's hear it for the field of his, which were probably the most impressive. Junior Sam Krauser threw a US number five all time, 231, and one inch in the jab. His cousin Ryan Krauser didn't have too bad of a showing either, winning the shot put and discus the day prior, throwing a state meet record 66 feet one and a quarter inch in the shot and 183 feet and 2 inches in the discus. And this kid is only a sophomore. I guess throwing objects far runs in the family. Maria Roberg won the 5A pole vault in an Oregon record 12 feet 9 and half inches. In other news across the nation, Central Buck South at the Pennsylvania State meet ran 733 in the 4x800 at number 6 all-time mark. In Connecticut at the Danbury Dream Invitational, Terrence Livingston ran U.S. number 3 150 in the 800 beating out Cass Loxham who ran 151. Tucker Schaefer also ran a U.S. number 2 6 flat in the 2K steeple. At that meet, hey you want to hear something ridiculous? At 
the North Dakota State meet, Junior Laura Rosler won the 100, 200, 400, and 800, including a state record 55-1 in the 400. Yeah, it's pretty much ridiculous. And Iowa Sarah Stokes did much of the same with the 400, 800, 1500, and 400 meter hurdles quadruple. Hard working ladies, working so hard, you win four events. That is more difficult than less than four events. At the All-Star Showdown in Florida, we were there to capture Kayla Hale, running a nation leading 16-52 in the 5K. We also got an interview with the Duke-bound quick chick running her last high school race. This meet at other fast people, I recommend that you check it out right here at runnerspace.com. It's the College Bowl Rundown. Not much happening on the NCAA scene as they wait for the regional meet. However, NAI Nationals were this last weekend. And we saw some impressive performances in the distances as Purity p doubled a 205 and 426 in the 8 and 15. And she's only a sophomore. On the guys' side, freshman for Oklahoma Christian Silas Casorio won the 800 and 149. It was second in the 15 by less than a second, ranking 345, losing to Aaron Rona, who also won the 10K. Also, make sure to check out the best of the Northwest Junior Colleges. Also known as NWAX, we have videos of all those races. On to the professional ranks. Oh my god. Goodness, Kenyon Pamela Jalimo, who dominated the 800 last year, was only six in Rabat, Morocco, running 202. This coming from a lady who was cranking off 155s like it was nothing last year. And prior to this race, had never been beaten in her life. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. At least now. Also at this IAAF meet in Morocco. Paul Coates, Blaze in 807 steeple. In the men's 5K, Jacob Chishari crest the field, running 1305. In the women's 15, Arena Lish. Oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> Lish. 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 Let's let's say it's Lishkenska. Ran a world leading 406.22. Great job, I'm sorry. I'm crappy at pronouncing names. In St. Louis, Leo Manzano got back on track, ranked 355, 29 in the mile. You can find me in St. Louis where they ran a sub for a mile. First time since the 60s. Thank you, thank you. I'm world renowned for my rapping. Oh, and in Brazil, high jumper Jesse Williams, who introduced our show, jumped over 7, 7 and a half. It's the Road Racing Rundown. Great Britain's Mo Farah set a national road 10K record running 27.50 in the Bupa London 10K. And guess what? He won. He's a champion. On the lady's side, Kim Smith of New Zealand crushed the women's field running 31.38, a personal best for her. She too is a champion. At the LA Marathon, Wesley Corey did alright for himself. Pierring by almost 5 minutes running 208.24, an LA course record. That's pretty darn respectable. Actually so respectable they won $189,000. I wish people respected me that much. R-B-S-P-E-C-T at the Boulder to Boulder in college. 19-year-old Ethiopian T. Lahoon Ragasa won the 10K. In dominating fashion, running 28-17, James Carney of the United States of America was second in 29-53. 24-year-old Mamito Daska of Ethiopia won the women's side, running 32-48. Oh, Canada! In Canada, the MDS Nordian 10K. Boston Marathon champion Derib America continued kicking booty and taking names, running 27-23, a personal best and course record. He was shy of the 27-01 world record he was gunning for, however, came through the 8K in a world record 2148. Not too shabby. Tebe or Keso won the women's side in 3150. I think that's all I have to talk about. I think that's the rundown. Yeah, that shit about do it. Is is that kind of what you were thinking? Uh, are you are you excited to eat it? Actually, Matt, it kind of looks a little burnt. Hey, Ian, what are you? Ian! What the f